Hello, I am an experienced EM1, and I put together these videos to share my knowledge and to help others become more knowledgeable and effective technicians. Let me remind you, before you work on electrical equipment, ensure it is tagged out. Then conduct proper initial voltage verification. Your CO is the only one who can authorize you to work on energized equipment. As always, use the proper tech manual for the equipment that you're working on. This kind of ship, the well deck is a very large area inside of the ship. It is in, it is in the back part. So I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight uh, kind of like the part where the well deck is. It's a very large area. Inside there, in the uh, very low part of the ship, there is a, what is called the well deck control station. We can control the lights and well deck or uh, whatever happens in the well deck and also uh, ventilation. And that's what we're concerned with in this video. Uh, ventilations, uh, the fans are located throughout the well deck on the sides in adjacent space, should I say. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight uh, a part and disappear most of the ship and just concentrate on the area that we need to see for easy referencing. Now, ventilation, each fan is controlled, or multiple fans rather, are controlled from a particular control center. They are multiple control centers that control different groups of fans. Now, all control centers are powered by manual bus transfers. The, uh, manual bus transfers, all of them, obviously, they have a normal and an alternate source of powers, which it can be fed from a low center or a uh, switchboard. Now, I just highlighted the uh, or circle here, the, the control centers. Now, uh, let's talk about a control center because, uh, you know, this is where the heart of what a lot of the control happens. So as I said, MBT is control, control center. So I represented by a line that that's supposed to have the, the three phases of power. They go into a main bus bar. And I just, uh, I use three colors over there to represent the, the bus bar, which is at the bottom. Now, then after that, there are some other, uh, the ones that go from bottom to top, I call them back rails. And I don't know if that's a proper name, but anyway, uh, those back rails, they transfer power uh, throughout what is control, uh, uh, what is called the, the ventilation controllers. So now these boxes that I put over here are the ventilation controllers. And well, this is about controlling fans. So those controllers, they control individual fans. Now we can rack out these controllers and later on, I'll show you how to rack out a controller in a diagram concerning that. Uh, there is also reversing contactors. I will talk to them uh, in a moment. Notice that the top of the what is called the reversing contactor uh, on a rail all the way to the top, there is, there is three wires that jump to the uh, left and to the right uh, bus bars. And that is used for reversing purposes. So let's talk about the reversing contactors, which is, you know, they call it supply and exhaust, or I call them reversing contactors. So when in supply situation, let's do this example, when this set of contacts are closed, now power it goes from the bottom rail uh, in the way how it's drawn and the fans rotate one way uh, on the uh, each uh, control, uh, local controller for each fan gets power certain way. Now, what happens when it goes uh, on reverse side? This is what happens power gets reversed and what that's what makes fans go backwards or uh, spin in the reverse direction. These are the well deck ventilation controllers. Uh, that one, uh, we have it off. We're done testing. We got some more over here. Each group has its own reversing contactors and I had the stop, slow, fast, along with the respective indications. We do have more reversing switches. This is what is called a low center. And this particular low center is fed from an AVT, which is here and everything is de-energized. I got my alternate indication and my normal indication. Uh, both of them are open at the moment. I could close them, but I'm not gonna do that. So power 
for the normal it comes through one of these wires and then the alternate comes through here and then this is actually going to the load the cable goes down and eventually again let me get you here it comes over here to feed those whole bus bar the bus bar in this low center it just runs across and it just energizes uh, some up commerce here is an up commerce and here it continues this phase over here is pretty much the same top phase this is my alpha this is my bravo that's my charlie now uh, this in particular one here we got inside there a reversing contactor and that reversing contactor will reverse uh, the two two phases okay for the rail that is in this side obviously these are spares and then there is a jumper that goes to the bottom and that jumper will energize all of these uh, fans so these reversing contactor will reverse the uh, any any ventilation that is in this side this reversing contactor will reverse any ventilation that is in that side we got a plug over here plug over there and they go here and what we discovered is that we got two contactors a forward and a reversing contactor so the whole thing that they do is that when this one is energized you got this normal K1, K2 when this one de-energizes the leads are reversed now K2 is over here K1 is over there and what that will do is anything that is above and all the other ones all of those motors will get reversed so it is a reversing system for multiple motors to mount a control center controller uh, first we're gonna have to screw this part over here and then once that is in there and, and that causes it to uh, the connections to make contact and everything to make contact like it should be then at that point on we're gonna line up these screws over here so it actually uh, stays firm so these are our top screws that we're gonna align to the top part uh, this is what actually draws power from the rail and this is the connections for either sensors or actually a power to the motor controller okay and this one's over here is what actually is gonna mash into these uh, little holders high-speed contactor the low speed contactor the high speed contactor it gets protected by this overload that's the high speed overload the low speed contactor gets protected by the low speed overload the welded control station has all the push buttons to start stop and reverse fans the signal comes into the control center to a bottom terminal board that is these terminal boards are actually located in front of where the bus bars are so this is where you're going to be making uh, taking your readings in case you suspect that a signal is not uh, getting to the control center from the welded control station and from the bottom terminal board of the control center there are additional wires that bring the signal into each of the local control center terminal boards which are located at the right of them.